Uh, beginning of last year, uh, me and the three other comedians uh, went on holiday uh, to New York City, uh, and there was a big snowstorm, and we all got stranded, and we couldn't get home when we thought we were going to get home. Now, I agree, that is not a promising start to a story. <laughs> Essentially, what I'm saying to you there is that my holiday was extended because it became too magical. That's what happened. <laughs> So I didn't think it was much of a story, uh, but it actually made the BBC News website. The fact that me and three other comedians were stranded in New York City made the BBC News website of four comedians stranded in New York City. And I'd imagine as people read that, they probably thought, ooh, four comedians stranded in New York City on the BBC News website. I'd imagine we've heard of all of these comedians, have we? <laughs> no, 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 no. Please adjust your expectations, dear reader because three quarters of that article was dedicated to explaining who the fuck each one of us was. <laughs> Everyone got their own little paragraph. Now, I'll be honest, that stung initially, but then just quite excited to get a little bit of press from the BBC, that's always nice. Your own little description, you can take that description, pop it on a poster, sell some tickets, lovely. So what, what do you want from the BBC News website? Uh, uh, funny comedian, I would have taken that, popped it on a poster, lovely stuff. Uh, humorous man, that is how low my bar is. <laughs> When it comes to press quotes, here's what they actually went with. Diabetic comedian! <laughs> Diabetic comedian! Now this annoyed me for a number of fucking reasons. Firstly, because yes, it's technically true he'd done some research, right? I am type 1 diabetic, I am a comedian, put those two things together, I can sort of see how he arrived at diabetic comedian. But I'm here to let you know tonight, Diabetic comedy is not a thing. <laughs> that is not a genre of humour that exists. Hope none of you read about me on the BBC News website and that's why you've come to the show tonight. <laughs> no, no, look, Cheryl, a diabetic comedian. I've never heard of such a thing. It sounds very groundbreaking, diabetic comedy, doesn't it? Well, your mother's diabetic, isn't she? Get her a ticket as well. I wonder what he's going to do. What is this diabetic comedy? Puzzling. Is he going to come out here, test his blood sugar level and we can all guess what it is? <laughs> Maybe he's going to do some high-octane Def Jam-style humour. Or as it's known in the world of diabetes, no jam for me, thank you very much humour. <laughs> hey, guys, you know when you're doing your insulin, you've got to rotate the injection sites, haven't you? Because if you don't, the area becomes lumpy and hard. Well, I guess I've been injecting into my d <laughs> It's impossible to do diabetic comedy, mainly because people don't understand enough about diabetes for me to be able to do successful observational humour about it, right? It would only work if it was a room full of diabetics, which it never is. It's normally no diabetics or one diabetic. Give me a cheer if you're diabetic. There he is. 